we're going to talk about the most powerful agent to increase HDL. And by the way, there is no medication that has been found to increase HDL and at the same time improve your health. But this natural remedy I'm going to talk about will naturally increase the HDL and improve your health. All right, what is HDL? HDL stands for high density lipoprotein. It's a type of lipoprotein. What's a lipoprotein? That is a protein that carries lipids or fats throughout the body. And HDL is the one that is considered the good cholesterol because it transports fat or removes fat from the cells. Now, where does this fat go? Well, it's carried back to the liver and it's also transported to the adrenals, the ovaries, and the testicles to make certain hormones, steroid hormones, if needed. Or the excess fat that's carried by the HDL to the liver is either turned into bile or carried by the bile out of the liver into the small intestine where it gets eliminated throughout the body. Now, if you're deficient in bile and you have all this cholesterol, that's when you're going to be at risk for getting gallstones because gallstone is too much cholesterol concentration versus the bile salts. So you need this correct ratio to work. And I've done a lot of videos on bile salts. You can learn about that through other videos. But the point is that this HDL uh, takes the cholesterol, the excess of cholesterol from the cells, brings it to certain organs in the liver, and then gets rid of it through the uh, bile routes. Now, HDL also acts as an antioxidant because it inhibits oxidation, which is very interesting. HDL also can decrease inflammation and it can decrease clotting in your arteries. All right, so now the question is, what is the most powerful agent to increase HDL? That is niacin, that's vitamin B3. It has been proven to significantly reduce atherosclerosis progression, as well as decreasing the risk from cardiovascular events. Now, the key with niacin is it must be the type of niacin that creates the flush. If you get the no flush version, it won't create this effect. Number two, going on a low carb, moderate protein, high fat diet. That's called the ketogenic diet. And it just so happens that going on the ketogenic diet creates a similar effect to niacin in increasing HDL. Very interesting. Number three, regular exercise will increase HDL. Number four, fatty fish or foods that are high in omega-3, like cod liver oil, for example. Magnesium can increase HDL. Fasting and intermittent fasting will increase HDL. If you stop smoking, your HDL will go up. If you avoid trans fats, your HDL will go up. If you consume fiber from vegetables, your HDL can go up. MCT oil can increase HDL. Coconut oil will do it. Avocados will do it. Cold pressed extra virgin olive oil will increase HDL. And so will pistachios. All right, there you have it, the summarized data on HDL. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.